Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about Muscle Linux and what that means for Python, as well as doing a quick deep dive into what Muscle is at all. Uh, but let's jump into it. Okay, get get kicked off. Uh, Muscle is a libc implementation. Uh, most Linux distributions that you deal with have uh, GNU libc uh, or glibc for short. That's the common libc for Linux. Uh, but there are alternative libc implementations and one of the more popular ones is Muscle, M-U-S-L, which I learned today because I've <laughs> always pronounced it differently depending on the context that it is indeed pronounced Muscle. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Yes, pronounced the same as the English words Muscle or Muscle. Cool. Okay, um, but the benefit of Muscle is it's significantly smaller and it tends to be used more often to produce statically compiled binaries. Uh, or at least that's what I've used it for in the past. And uh, it is particularly popular on a number of Linux distributions that are used in containers. One of those being Alpine Linux, which uh, recompiles everything using uh, muscle libc rather than uh, GNU libc. It also ships with BusyBox rather than uh, some of the more common core utils, um, but anyway, the problem with Alpine, uh, if we podman run, I, <laughs> I pre-downloaded this image so it'd be a little bit faster. Uh, you'll notice here that I'm also using sh instead of bash, and I think I actually did a video about BusyBox. Did I do a video about BusyBox? Oh no, I, I, I mentioned it in a uh, omni-executable video, so I will try and link that in the description. Uh, but if we read link bash f which sh, you'll see that all of the binaries in Alpine are just a symlink to busy boss box. This is a special executable that does a whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, uh, the point that I wanted to make here is before uh, a very recent standard, installing wheels in Python uh, required to compile them all from source, which would often take a very long time. So for instance, if we do pip install, pip3 install libsass, which is a library that I maintain that I haven't made a Oh, we don't even have GCC. Uh, APK add no cache GCC. Sure. Um, but I, I haven't built a wheel for this, and so it has to compile from source. And so PEP656 uh, is a specification for making a tag for muscle based uh, Python wheels. So you can have pre compiled binaries on Alpine Linux. Essentially, that was the goal of this. And it works very similar to PEP600, which defines uh, many Linux platforms based on the libc version. The difference here is PEP656 defines them based on the muscle version. And so they get a special tag that looks similar to this, where this will be, this will always be the string muscle Linux. This will be the major version of muscle. I believe it is currently at 1.2, maybe, might be 1.3. Yeah, 1.2.3. So uh, anything compiled against 1.2 or newer would see a tag of uh, muscle Linux one underscore two underscore x86 64 or arch 64 if you're on uh, you know arm for instance and so that's that's the basics of this um, did we get GC installed um, <laughs> you'll see that this takes oh man it's still okay well I'm missing some headers so there's there's a bit more that I would have to install to make this work. But in theory, if I had provided a pre-built wheel, such as uh, pip3 install cryptography, I believe they have a pre-built muscle Linux wheel. Yeah. So you'll see here that we were able to install this muscle Linux 1.1 wheel, and then we didn't have to rebuild anything. We didn't have to build anything from scratch. It was basically just download this wheel and extract it, and you're good to go. And so that's kind of the basics of this uh, of this pep, and uh, yeah, allows you to have easy pre-built wheels for yet another Linux platform. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you found this interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.